right, everybody, welcome to another Vegan Eats video. I am your host, Uprooted Foodie, and today we are in Cleveland, if you couldn't tell. We are at Cleveland Vegan. They have amazing options here. Lots of vegan comfort food. Obviously, you can find iced coffee and breakfast items. That is what we came here for. So we'll show you what we ended up getting. First up, you'll notice that we definitely went with quite the spread here. Lots of options to be had that normally a vegan might have trouble finding at an omnivorous restaurant, but not at Cleveland Vegan. These are the blueberry lemon pancakes, biscuits and gravy, home fries, in a cheese sauce, yes, you heard me, and a breakfast sandwich. Let's start off with the pancakes. These are their buttermilk pancakes with maple syrup, and these had blueberries and lemon curd. As you can guess, they were super delicious. Next up, we've got the oh-so-creamy biscuits and gravy. I am the biggest fan of biscuits and gravy. These are homemade biscuits with a lentil sausage crumble and pepper gravy garnished with green onion. Kyle went with a huge breakfast sandwich. Let's talk about this one. Here you've got a house omelet, tempeh bacon, kale, tomato, avocado, sprouts, chipotle mayo on and homemade English muffin. Yes, I said and homemade. We abstained from dessert, but they have dessert cases at the front of the store greeting you with all their goodies. They also offer deli and to-go options as well. That's it for Cleveland Vegan. Now we're moving more into downtown Cleveland for some other options. Balance have a really awesome Asian infused style here with a lot of interesting vegetarian and vegan options order your own food on an iPad, the kitchen receives it, and you go up and grab your order when it's ready. I believe this was like a peanut flavored dish and sauce. These are the orange crunch tacos. It's got a citrus Sasechuan sauce drizzled over grilled tofu, garnished with curried cashews, crunchy noodles, and microgreens. This was so much fun to eat and it tasted incredible. We had to get a couple sides to try as well, which included Brussels sprouts and edamame, of course. Definitely a really chill place that you can walk into, self-serve, self-order. You can easily social distance from other people. And that was something we appreciated traveling through Cleveland as this was definitely still during a peak of sorts with COVID. Traveling a little bit further through downtown Cleveland, we are heading now to the 27 Club. This has a really interesting story behind it. I encourage you to look into it and definitely give them your patronage. It's a really weird, quirky, cool vibe in there. It was not intentional to get so many pink items, but they had a pink latte special that I couldn't pass up, and these adorable mini cinnamon rolls that are vegan. We also splurged and got the avocado toast. We were having brunch with our friend Caitlin, and we all just had a nice little tapas brunch hangout, and it was fun. Hanging out under the bridge, getting a nice little view of scenic Cleveland from this angle. That was pretty much it for the foodie side of things in Cleveland for us. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment below which one you would like to try first. See you next time.